So before we watch our favorite movies, we see a studio logo flash across the screen. And at this point, we're just so used to seeing them, we don't really think twice about it. But there's actually some really interesting stories behind these Hollywood studio logos, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey YouTube, I'm Court McGinley, and welcome back to the most amazing top five. Before we get started on our list, I want to know, what's your favorite Hollywood studio logo? Let me know your answers down in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our amazing channel and give this video a big thumbs up. All right, let's get started on our list of the top five stories behind Hollywood studio logos. Coming in at number five spot, Paramount, the Majestic Mountain. This corporation was founded in 1912. The logo was first drawn up as a doodle by W.W. Hodkinson during a meeting with the company's founder, Adolf Zukor. He based this doodle off the Den Lamont Mountain from his childhood in Utah. This is actually the oldest surviving Hollywood film logo. Over the years, it has been updated, but it's pretty much stayed the same. However, there are two differences. For one thing, over time, the original matte painting has obviously been replaced with a computer generated mountain and stars. And also, the original logo has 24 stars, representing Paramount's then 24 contracted movie stars. Now there are only 22 stars. In at number four, 20th Century Fox, the Searchlight logo. 20th Century Pictures and Fox Film Company merged in 1935 to create 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. The original logo was created two years prior in 1933 for the original 20th Century Pictures. It was done by famed landscape artist Emil Koza Jr. After the joining of the company, Koza kept the original logo but just swapped out the pictures ink with Fox. And that's the current logo we have now. At number three, Columbia Pictures The Torch Lady. The studio logo was designed in 1924 and it's supposed to represent the female personification of America. The woman who posed for the logo was known as the Torch Lady and her identity was never confirmed to the public. The current Torch Lady that we see today was designed by Michael J. Diaz in 1993. The model for the new Torch Lady was actually a Louisiana homemaker named Jenny Joseph. But rather than use her face, Diaz drew a composite face made from several computer generated features. Coming in at number two, MGM Leo the Lion. Howard Dietz was the studio publicist, and back in 1924, he designed the Leo the Lion logo for Samuel Goldwyn Goldwyn Picture Collaboration. Howard used to go to Columbia University, so he decided to base it off their mascot, the lion. Then, when Goldwyn Picture merged with Metro Pictures Corporation and Louis B. Mayer Pictures, the newly formed MGM kept the logo. If you've been around for a while, then you know that over the years, the lion has changed. There's been a total of five lions playing the role of Leo. The first was Slates from 1924 to 1928. Then there was Jack. Jackie, who was the first MGM lion to roar and was the first to appear in Technicolor back in 1932. And the third and most famous lion was Tanner. And at number one, DreamWorks SKG Boy on the Moon. In 1994, Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberry, and David Geffen got together and found a new studio called DreamWorks. And that's where the SKG part of the logo comes from. So why the boy on the moon? Well, Spielberg wanted the logo for DreamWorks to be reminiscent of Hollywood's golden age. So they came up with the idea to have a computer generated image of a man in the moon and they would have him fishing. But then Dennis Murren, who was the visual effects supervisor and often worked with Spielberg on his films, suggests that a hand painted logo will look better. So he asked his friend Robert Hunt to paint it. Hunt did so but he also made up an image that he thought would be a better fit and that was the young boy sitting in the crescent moon. He actually modeled the young boy after his son. He sent back the drafts and Spielberg ended up liking his version better. And that's the one we see today. And there you have it, that's the top 5 true stories behind Hollywood studio logos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.